Hi guys, this is Carl Anderson and welcome on this new webcast where we're going to see how to localize your resources in the ASP.NET website. Localization is definitely one of the key features of uh, today's uh, international uh, websites and uh, Confluent handles it out of the box through its message concept. So if we get back on our uh, if we get back to our um, to our model in uh, contact I mean design here you can see they have several parts and I'm importing the messages.xml part and, this, and in this uh, XML part you can see that I'm defining several messages in different uh, languages uh, each time in English and in the other one in French and um, I'll be able and actually this in, in the output the bomb producer will produce uh, standard standard.NET resources in the in the two languages that were specified and I'll be able to use them in my in my uh, UI layers so uh, whatever .NET UI layer I'm, I'm implementing whether it's a WinForm application, an ISP.NET website, a Civilite application or w WPF uh, application doesn't matter all those are standard .NET resources that I'll be able to use. Uh, the only particularity um, in ISP.NET is that since I don't want to have any any code behind, or uh, at least as uh, uh, the minimum possible, uh, there's a little um, there's a little thing that, 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 that there's a little trick that is very handy uh, to implement that, and this is done in this uh, code folder. I got a message builder expression and what you can do in ASP.NET is that you can you can create expression builders and that's very very handy when it comes to localization I'm going to show you why so here I have a contact localized list which is uh, exactly the same as my standard contact list here except that instead of having uh, I'm going to show you the, the contact list uh, it's exactly the same but uh, instead of having uh, um, all my uh, messages that are hard coded in my presentation here I'm using this uh, message uh, expression builder with the name of the message that I wanna the name of the resource that I wanna use and uh, and display on the screen so how this works is that first in your configuration here you need to uh, you need to set up your well, to register your expression builder, and so I'm, I'm defining here that uh, the expression prefix should be message, and that the class, the class uh, corresponding to this well, the implementation of this expression builder, uh, is in my is in my assembly right here. So if I get here, you can see that I get I have this class named message expression builder, which derives from the uh, standard uh, .NET expression builder and basically what it does is that it retrieves the expression that was uh, that was defined into the brackets and trims it and uh, calls the get value the get value method with the expression inside it which uh, basically calls the man the resource manager that was generated by confluent entities and uh, this resource manager uh, text has a parameter the current culture of the server the value that you want and uh, you can add extra arguments if you want to which is not handled in this uh, very light and simple implementation so what happens is if we start from scratch uh, in my model I uh, declared messages those were those were uh, j those generated uh, resources, .NET resources. Then in my website, I created a message expression builder, which I registered in my web config. Dot config, and uh, in the contact localized list that I expect, uh, I'm using the standard ISP.NET syntax to to uh, to call my expression using my prefix. So this is about it, and. Um, what we what we did in this page is that we added two uh, two links uh, one 
one which provides an extra parameter uh, specifying that we want, we want to be in the French culture and another one specifying a parameter uh, uh, that, that we want to retrieve the web page in uh, English and um, doing so we we have a uh, our HTTP application on all pages if ever a request your a request contains uh, the language parameter it will try to um, it will try to set the current culture to that um, to to that language to that culture so this is how it is implemented and um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first yeah I'm going to build my application first and uh, now if I go on my contact localized list localized list so you can see my form and uh, it currently indicates me that I'm in English and if ever I click in French you see that in as a parameter I have my language that was specified here All right. And now that my all my entire web page is in French now, and if I click back on English, my entire web page is in English. So this is well, well. Once again, all that was done without any code behind, or or almost none, simply by adding a message expression builder here, which is only like ten lines of code, and uh, a global ASX, which will handle. Um, localization for all my pages uh, in, in my entire HTTP application. So this was how to localize your resources in your ISP.NET website. And uh, thank you very much and see you on next webcast where we'll see how to add custom methods. And by custom methods I mean uh, methods other than uh, sim simple loadals or stuff like that. More advanced methods like uh, search and, and counts and and our CFQL methods. Well, thank you very much.